gentleman from California, Mr. Sherwood. Thank you. Mr. Harbeck, I want to thank you for pointing out that we're dealing with one legal entity because there's this myth that the 16th floor was cool. The 17th floor was where the fraud was going on. The fact is it's one entity, one fraudulent entity. And that entity was filing financial statements with the SEC and with FINRA every year for many years. Those fi financial statements were obviously false on their face because they involved large amounts of money being reported by a tiny accounting firm uh, or tiny auditing firm. And so I want to thank you for, for pointing that out. The number of my colleagues are um, uh, questioning why you didn't do the enforcement job. And as I understand it, you're basically like my life insurance company. Uh, you're not going to keep me alive, but if I die, you're supposed to pay off. That is correct, sir. And in contrast, it's FINRA and the SEC that's supposed to be doing the enforcing. They're the ones that received these financial statements that were obviously fra false on their face. They're the ones that the intelligent tipsters went to. They didn't come to you and say, hey, there's fraud going on at Madoff. They were uh, sophisticated enough to know that they should go to the SEC. And I look forward, uh, Mr. Chairman, to bringing the SEC enforcement people and FINRA uh, before uh, this subcommittee. But, Mr. Harbeck, uh, the one thing I count on my life insurance company to do is to stay solvent so that they can pay off uh, when I do die. I, I look to other people to keep me alive. Now, you're, you're mentioning your lines of credit, but the right to borrow money is not net worth. Your net worth is about $1.5 billion minus what you lose on this uh, Madoff case. And uh, do you have any reason to think that, well, uh, and we talked about this earlier, you're going to lose under even a conservative estimate a billion dollars on the Madoff case? It all depends on the claims which we haven't yet received, Congressman. Okay. I, I, but I everybody know. who has one of these statements uh, where they directly invested in Madoff and their secure and the positions are here listing the securities they're supposed to have is insured up to half a million dollars, correct? They are protected. We don't use the word insurance because of the fact that we don't protect against the underlying value of a securities portfolio. Okay. Going well, you do form an insurance company function. Yes. And any insurance regulator in this country who looked at the fact that you're standing behind a, well over a trillion dollars worth of accounts, and you have, after this Madoff thing, well less than a billion dollars, would, would, would close you down in a second as being an undercapitalized insurance company. There is no uh, more obvious fraud than somebody selling insurance or claiming to be providing insurance that doesn't have any capital to pay anybody off. Uh, should your members put an asterisk by that detail that they all have on their window saying, yes, uh, S SIPC Corporation provides the protection, but there is virtually no net worth. I and mean, we can argue here whether your net worth is $500 million or $800 million or uh, negative $17 billion. The, your net worth is trivial or negative compared to the well over a trillion dollars uh, of, of security that you're supposed to be providing the investors in all of our districts, right? We look at the issue of our solvency every board meeting. And what I can tell you is... I'm not asking for solvency. I'm asking for your net worth, your assets minus your liabilities, including the liabilities you have on the Madoff uh, situation. Your net worth is less than a billion and we have over a trillion dollars of accounts with uh, securities brokers here in the United States that are under the half, and I'm only counting the ones that are under the half million dollar limit. The, the answer to your question is that historically, <laughs> these frauds have been found before it costs SIPC net $1 million in any given case. That's ancient history. Now we're in the new history the history of thousand point drops in the market on occasion, the history of uh, Madoff and fifty billion dollar uh, 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 losses uh, to investors. 
and you've got decals all over the 27th district telling my constituents that they have protection and I'm not asking you to 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 be a law enforcement agency uh, that's the, the, the other agency but you're supposed to be able to, to write the checks to protect them and your account your net worth is under a billion dollars the first thing that happens when our fund falls below one billion dollars is we automatically institute assessments on the securities industry based on their net operating but revenues. you haven't done that yet even though uh, you're clearly going to lose at least five hundred million dollars out of this Madoff thing you're below a billion dollars you just haven't told your 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 members that i would i would expect our board will move on that in january sir in Jan okay.